Hey guys, what is up? It's Sector here back with another video and today guys I'm gonna be going ahead and doing a quick tutorial showing how you can easily downgrade from iOS 13 beta 1 Which is indeed very buggy back to the most recent version of iOS 12 which will be iOS 12.3 So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video so starting off, I am just going to say that you will lose all your data doing this if you didn't have a backup of your phone, whether it was an iTunes backup or iCloud backup. So make sure that you do have a backup, otherwise the phone is going to go back to its factory settings and you will lose all the data on your phone. So if you didn't back up, make sure you back it up right now. So with that aside, first you do need a computer that could be either a Windows PC, which you will need to download iTunes for, and of course macOS. So after that, go ahead and open up iTunes, plug a cable from your computer to your phone, and click on the phone icon. Then I will be leaving the download links to iOS 12.3 in the description with it corresponding to your device. And of course, courtesy to the website Gadget Hacks for providing all the links. So after you reach your website, simply click on your device and wait for the download. After that, make sure to turn off the Find My feature before continuing. When you have finished, go ahead and click on Restore iPhone while holding on the Options key. That should then prompt a window to access the Restore file. So then simply find the IPSW file that you have downloaded and click on Open. Then click on Restore and you're pretty much set to go. However, if you have yours backed up in iTunes, make sure on your computer to select Restore iPhone. And if you have yours backed up in the cloud, then you can safely unplug and restore your device from there. Finally, there will be a few simple things like setting up a new password and Face ID for security reasons, Apple Pay, location services, and finally the password of your Apple ID, all just for security reasons. And after that, your phone should be just like it was before. So there you go guys, hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like. In my upcoming videos, I will also be doing a bunch of iOS 13 beta updates and just a bunch of other iOS 13 videos in general. Also, in my next video, I will also be showing you guys how to get iOS 13 without a developer's account. So if you're excited for all that, make sure to stay tuned for those videos and subscribe so you can get all the notifications. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video.